to my brothers out there who are contemplating marriage, I have some advice for you. Get rid of your baggage. I want to share a story with you. I was dating this girl. We were thinking about having a serious, long-term relationship. She turned to me and said, I don't want to marry a guy whose father is not in his life. Well, that immediately canceled me out of the opportunity of being her husband because my dad had never been in my life and he still isn't. At the moment she said that, I was hurt. I was bothered. But when I really started to think about what she was saying, she actually did me a favor and it triggered something in my mind. Welcome to Next Cue. My name is Steven Garner. I'm going to share with you my direction for your life. I call it my cues for living a great life. So let me go back to my story about my girlfriend who basically said, I'm not going to marry you because of your family of origin issues. Here's my first cue. You need to get with a woman who is going to be a revealer of your baggage, not a concealer. That's very important. A woman who reveals that you have baggage is someone who you need to appreciate. Now, even though that woman did not eventually become my wife, she did me a huge favor by revealing that I had the baggage. Because the first step towards change is awareness. You can't accept the problem if you're not aware of it. You need someone who will make you aware of the fact that you are carrying bad emotional baggage. Now, she was awesome because she was prophetic. She knew her limits. She could see down the road that the issues that were a result of something that was out of my control, however, it would manifest itself in our relationship. She knew that she was not going to be able to handle it. She recognized her limits and made a decision right then. So she didn't waste my time for years. That's why I don't understand when I see brothers in relationships with women who basically see the problem, but they won't take the time to reveal that it is there. They won't tell you you have baggage. And for those brothers out there who will not embrace a woman who reveals that there is baggage, shame on you. Because that's the opportunity you have, as I just mentioned, to accept the challenge, the problem that you're dealing with, and then fill the gap of knowledge and overcome it. What she did do was trigger this thought in me that I need to deal with this baggage. Second cue. I went to go see a counselor. Now listen, I know, especially in the black community, that it is this sign of weakness. If you suggest that you need to go see a counselor, there's this stigma about seeing a counselor, especially in black men, because we see that as conceding defeat. But the reality of it is all of us have a degree of crazy ingrained in us. Whether it's genetic or it's learned from our environment, all of us have a degree of insanity. And sometimes it's due to circumstances. You have to be crazy. In certain situations, like the one that I had to deal with when I was living in an environment that was crime infested, you had to learn medieval tactics to deal with the violence. That alone can cause you to become crazy. You go to the counselor for this main reason. The counselor is going to finish what that woman did for you. The counselor is going to reveal what's inside the bag. Now the woman who told you that you have the baggage just identified that it's there. But the counselor is going to reveal what's inside the bag. Because you didn't even know the bag was there until someone told you. Now you need to open the bag and the counselor is going to skillfully open the bag and pull out the contents because the counselor is not trying to escalate a situation. The counselor is trying to defuse the bomb that's in the bag. Here's something I want you to understand. This is why it's important to go to a counselor because the counselor has been trained to dismantle, not detonate the bomb in the bag. You can't listen to your friends who are broken just like you are. Broke people break other people who are broken. And they give bad advice because what they really are trying to do is conceal the emotional baggage. The counselor gave me some tools to deal with three things. My spirituality, my sexuality, and my model of what a healthy family should look like. Right? Because I'm coming out of a broken home. Now let me tell you something about my previous family life. And this is 
no disrespect to my mom. However, you know, in the black community, especially at least the community that I came from, we perpetuated multi-generational poverty. And I'm not just talking about economics when I say multi-generational poverty. I'm talking about the mindset that perpetuates poverty on all levels. My mom never married. Uh, my brothers and sisters, we all have different fathers. And all of our fathers were crazy in some way, or shape or form, right? And so my mom never had a committed man. So here's the model that I see, men don't commit to women. And then not to mention that we were on welfare. And so you have this encouragement by the government for the man to never commit to the woman because then therefore the woman would receive more funds if she's not married, which is stupid because it's basically systematically breaking up the family that is needed to build a healthy community, which creates healthy societies. So it's being encouraged by the government. So therefore the mentality is solidified in the children because this is the bottle that they see. This is why you go to the counselor to deconstruct the bad emotional architecture that's been built by your bad experiences. <laughs> okay. So the counselor reveals to me what was the seed of my bad sexuality and spirituality. And the counselor helped me to build a better family model. Thank you for watching. Listen, I wrote a blog on this subject, so I encourage you to go to my website, nextcues.com, N-E-X-C-U-E-S.com. Read my blog, check it out, let me know what you think. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.